Let's go jump mentors and we back again. Yes. Welcome to a life changing journey. This is where it all starts. We want you guys to know that we found the solution to escape poverty and today we're going to share with you guys all of that completely for free. Before we start the lesson of today, I want to give you guys a few words of motivation when it comes to forex trading. Many people think of trading as gambling because this comes from a perception of traders that are basically picking or guessing and also predicting the direction of which the market is going. And that is exactly where they have it all wrong guys because all professional traders know this for a fact. If you want to be successful as a trader guys, it is very crucial for you to start operating like a business. You need to have a trading plan, you need to have a structure in order for you to become successful. Very true man, day trading or investing is a business. Whether you want to do it part-time or you want to do it full-time, if you wish for long-lasting success, you need to structure it like a business. Reason being is, if you continue the journey of day trading like a hobby, you're going to see that a hobby is something that takes away your money. Whereas a business is something that makes you money. That is the difference, guys. If the process is right, the money will follow. We have broke down the entire episode course, NASDAQ, currencies, indices, the entire FS Gold 2.0 course. We're going to upload over an hour long videos that's going to cover the whole full course. For the first lesson, we're going to cover introduction to Forex, then we're going to cover master of trading basics, and then we're going to cover how to properly use your MT4 platform, and we're going to cover your beginner's mindset, we're going to cover how to approach day trading, and we're also going to share with you guys our story before and after success. And lastly, we're also going to cover how to find a good trading mentor. That is very true because if you want to be successful, I will not lie to you guys. I'll be as honest as I possibly can. As long as you want to be a professional trader, you will need systems in place. You will need a plan if you want to succeed. You cannot make decisions based on emotions, guys. You cannot tell me that you're greedy on a particular trade because it's very important for you guys to understand that having a strategy will literally lead you to having more winners than your losers. And eventually, that's how you're going to have the end in your forex trading journey. True facts right there guys. And remember, we're sharing this entire episode course, this exclusive and expensive information completely for free. So we really appreciate it. If you take the video to 10k likes, don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. Without any further waste of time, let's play the intro. Ever's got your mentors, let's go. Welcome to FX Gold Forex Trading Academy. Your journey to become a professional trader starts today. Be ready to take notes. As we begin the road to transforming you into an FS Code student, giving you all the tools to become a consistently profitable trader. FS Code. Before we can continue, you need to ask yourself two questions. Until you get these two questions right, there's literally no need for you to continue. Now, here are the two questions. Do you think forex trading works? Last question. Do you believe in forex trading? Give yourself at least Two minutes to think critically about your answers. In fact, we're gonna help you with that as well. This video will play a blank screen for two minutes with a relaxing sound so you can think about just those two answers. It starts now.
Time is up. Now, what was your answer? If your answer was that you don't believe in forex trading and you don't think it works, <laughs> that will change. And if you refuse to change, then you will see that forex trading won't work for you. You have already failed. However, if your answer is that you believe in forex trading and you think it works, then congratulations, you have passed the first stage. For the first time ever, we are going to share with you everything we've learned and how exactly our journey played out. The thought process, the strategy, mindset, even examples of the exact traits and steps you're supposed to follow in order to make it. The reason we ask you for those two questions is because that's the first thing you have to get right. Now, let me share with you our story on how we got to actually believe that Forex trading works. Hi there everyone, this is FS Gojo Mentos. So guys, our approach on how we tell our stories and how we present our lessons will be different. This is because when we tell our stories, we don't rehearse them. Our aim is to be as authentic as we possibly can. So please, don't mind us when we sometimes interrupt each other during story times as we simply share everything that happened and exactly how we felt. However, our lessons are of course well structured as they are properly prepared prior. Thank you so much for your time. We hope you enjoyed the video. This is FS Gojo Mentos and basically today guys, we're gonna share our journey and how we basically come about with FX Code. Yeah, we're gonna basically share everything that happened up until today. Yeah. Right, up we're gonna start today. from the beginning because we believe that if we get to share our story with you guys, you'll also get to see what you can pick up on how we made it so that you, you can also be able to make it. Basically, we saw that giving you a lesson requires us to also give you our journey. We wanna give you guys a waking journey because it worked for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we want to start from where it all started and to know how we got to actually believe that Forex trading works, right? Yeah. So yeah. back in 2017, guys, that's when we started knowing about Forex. Yeah, that's when we, we started, started being interested. Yeah, like introduction to Forex was in 2017. And then we've been trading since. And then basically almost the end of 2018, that's when we're seeing a bit of progress progress yeah so see. 2018 that's when we started the beginning of 2018 that's when we started going hard yeah into yeah. forex trading and 2018 we took it very seriously yeah and it was by the almost the end of the year that we had our actual first breakthrough yeah so obviously after blowing many accounts we got to a point where yeah. we took uh our 10 gb account which is which was our last money yeah our, our <laughs> last time, money yeah yeah so we took that 10 gbp and then we turned it into 110 GBP. GBP. So and that was the first video we posted on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. So that was the first video that we actually did. And yeah. the good thing was we actually recorded the whole experience and then we posted it on YouTube to get some feedback on what to basically improve and meet other traders. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. What surprised us was the response from the video. You know, <laughs> yeah. uh, we thought we posting a video to basically be assisted by people, but in return, people were surprised. And they were seeing we're good traders at that time we didn't even know that we yeah. know how to trade we didn't trust our skills basically yeah, yeah. yeah. i don't think we so, trusted our skills at that time but yeah. yeah we saw so after basic the feedback we saw yeah. what we did and we're saying like okay this thing works yeah right how so, about we go back and read and see what we actually did how about we relearn mm -hmm. how we did that and yeah. actually practice more as it's basically working yeah yeah so and that's when we basically opened a, a telegram channel was around November. Yeah, the beginning of November. That's when you opened our Telegram channel. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen people free November. Yeah. So basically, at that time, we thought, okay, now we have a chance. We're starting to see some light after yeah. a lot of failure, after blowing a lot of accounts. We're getting to actually move forward. That's when we're starting to be a bit of consistently profitable traders yeah. at that time. So what happened now that actually changed everything for us was what happened at the end of November, which was around the 28th or the 29th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so there was a November. guy who reached out to us yeah. from telegram an account manager yeah, yeah yeah he said he saw our work from youtube he's impressed we are good traders however he said that he's a better trader and yeah. then if we work together we can make more money ah I'm like, so oh. at that time being consistently profitable we were able to accumulate basically thirty thousand rents yeah yeah so thirty thousand rents is approximately 
2,100 USD at that yeah. time. So for us, it was a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Understand that we were yeah. financially struggling people. Yeah, so, so we were very happy. 30,000 was, yeah, yeah, it was a lot. a lot of money. Yeah. And with regarding to our age, so yeah, we were very happy at that time. Yeah. So what that guy did, this, this is what he proposed. He said to us, okay, guys, here's the deal. He showed us his accounts. He saw my work. He was, he was very transparent at that yeah, time. So we believed him. Yeah. He sent us his account. He sent us his proof, how he's trading. And obviously, we want to go in. We want to make yeah. money. It was the first time we've seen an account manager who is actually profitable. Yeah. So, yeah, we went in. And then he said, okay, this is how you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. You're going to deposit your money into a broker. And then you're going to have your login details through your email. Yeah. You just have to send me your login details. And I'm going to be able to access your account and trade for you. Yeah, basically, so like, okay, that's account okay. management. Yeah. So, what's better, we're actually at a bit of, you know, a secure place. Because we're the only ones who can withdraw the money. Even if he makes more money, we have to send him the profits. We have he can't the withdraw. Power, yeah, basically. because we have the broker access. Yeah. So, okay, sharp, we're cool. Now, we send him his we're login details. Mm -hmm. And then he said, put in all your money. He yeah. said, yo, bro, like, like, this, this is all everything we have. Like, this is our last money. Yeah, this is everything we, we have. We worked hard for this money. Like, <laughs> you know? And I was like, no, trust me, relax. Relax, just put in everything, like... Put it on my hands yeah. and trust me, you're gonna see. Yeah. I'll, obviously, we trust the guy and we really wanna make it. Yeah. At so, that time, we we're hungry for success. We went in hard. We put in all the money 30,000 inside the account. Rent, it was all in. And yeah. then the guy, <laughs> what he did, funny yo, story. Yo, it's, you know, a bit of against of what we do. Yeah. yeah he's the a, guy he's a, opened 10 trades, uh, high risk 10 trades. Gold trade. sales, bro. Gold sales. Like gold. gold is a very volatile pair. Yo. So, so already those trades were at negative 10,000. 10, Just 000. opening those trades, it was at like negative 10,000. Minimal movement, already minus 10,000. So knowing us, we're all about proper risk management. Yeah. We couldn't handle it. So we discussed, no, TV, no, man. man I, it's a lot of risk. Yeah, man. Me, me I'm not comfortable. I, I'm, I can't afford to, to lose, lose this, this kind of money, money man. It's, it's if we lose this, much. we're going to go back to where we started. And this, yeah. how are we going to get the money to fund, to continue? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So like, nah, nah, we're not comfortable, bro. We're no, not comfortable. No, no. And then we so, decided to change the password first mm -hmm. so that he loses his access we and changed then, the password and we blocked, we blocked him. him and then we we closed, we closed the trades trade. we closed, we closed the so we were from 30,000 and we closed 10,000 10, so basically 20,000 we were now. back to 20,000 from and just then, a guy who we trusted yeah okay. like yo he's crazy that guy is so, not how to risk yeah. management his, his trades <laughs> yeah so what shocked us is what happened after oh. that guy went crazy yo yo yo, yo yeah that nuts. guy basically uh he used his different uh devices like yeah he has yeah. multiple he had multiple phones multiple phones so, so he, he called us, us yeah. what's, hey, happening? Guys, what's happening yo what's happening he tried to scam me yeah, close the what is this? what's happening hey, yeah. you send me screenshots you I very see. big vulgar i want to see what you did i want my man yeah. uh, you want your money uh, we like we hey, close the trace guy he didn't believe us yeah again you blocked him so we, we got the third call now. He mm. called us again, swearing at us, calling yo, us names. Yo, so we're like, yo, deep, yo, bro, okay, sharp. We send him screenshots. Screenshot that we close, we the, close the trades. The trades. Okay, now we're the out. Proof. Us, we're okay. Yeah. And then this is what he said to us. He said yeah. this to us. He warned us. You know what? You'll regret it. it. That, was like, the, that was the last time we heard from him. He, was, he just said to us, you will regret it. So That's obviously, it. we're like, we're surprised. It's crazy. We're yes, going yes. to regret it. Mm -hmm. Ah, nah, you know what? As we, we work here, like, like whatever we've been doing was working for us. Yeah. Even if so, we're gonna continue. Yeah, because what we've been doing. it's been working. Yeah. So that day, that day there was no news. It was a, it was a normal Wednesday. Was a normal Wednesday. It was yeah. there was no news. There was nothing tricky nah. at that time. There was nah. no fundamentals whatsoever. So the market was just normal. It was just basically normal trading hours. Yeah. yeah. So we went to the charts. We looked at gold. Gold didn't move. And then minutes passed, and yeah. then we came back. Yo, 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 gold. Nice dropped and then oh. at the time we came it even dropped while we we're watching it like <laughs> gold was dropping so hard oh. You know, you from like, that time, we could already imagined that we would we have, have took 30,000 to almost 150,000. We would have basically 100k profits running, oh. not closed, and then oh. knowing oh. we closed minus 10k. Oh. Oh. Uh, that oh. one that <laughs> it hit us, guys. that one oh. took us oh. back weeks, bro. The pain. Oh. The pain. And, and we went back, we went back, looked at the charts to see look, how, 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 why, how did he get it? Why did he know he's gonna sell? So that was the day we went on the charts, we looked at it many times, and all it was was just a setup. Like, simple. There was no trick, there was, was nothing. No tricks. It's just a person who knows forex trading, yeah. who has studied, and who knows, like, basically, setups yeah. tend to repeat themselves. And that guy, he blocked us after telling yeah, us after that the we gonna, we're he gonna regret like, it. He blocked, he disappeared. Yeah. I don't know. We never had, we gone. searched for him, trying to ask him, how did you know? It's gone. Why? Like, oh, Bruh. guys. So, obviously, we're devastated, 
but, but we took we yeah, basically we but paid, that day we that paid day, ten thousand. We learned for that lesson. We right? learned that we, we almost made one hundred and fifty, and we had a ten thousand draw back, and yeah. that was that was a lot of money for us Ew. at that time because we were still students. We're yeah. trying to prove a point. A lot of money. We're trying to get out. We're trying to push life. Yeah. You know, we're trying to yeah. basically break through. So <sighs> yeah, yeah, it was painful. That happened, yeah. and we yeah. learned that you know forex trading is real. Yeah, right? that's that's yeah. the first thing. That was the lesson we learned. I believe it. we got right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to believe. We had yeah, the first like, proof. He gave us forex trading. He, works. Believe, he knew, man. He gave us belief. Man. So we always aspire yeah. to be. We always aspire to reach that level. And from there, yeah. that's when we went crazy. Yeah, People man, started man. started calling us crazy. We're always watching the screens. We're like, always we're always analyzing. Be the house. Always trying to because we saw Man, it's Monday, Friday, always facing yeah. the chat. People could never understand then, it trying to find out how did he know? You know. People so, never saw what we saw, never, so they couldn't understand never, yeah. our focus, our yeah. drive. And why were we so crazy? And when we started, this it thing. wasn't just the two of us. You know, we had a group of guys who yeah. started, but along the way, they were uh, just they left us. leaving yeah. us yeah. one by one. We were still staying there, believing because we saw, we saw, we what saw the proof. Did. Like you no, know, the forex trading works. Yeah. It, so it yeah, works. that's that's the time we got to see. Okay, sharp. Now we need to put in the work, bro. We need to yeah. see what we did. We yeah. need to work more on it. And how we can started, we improve our strategies? Yo. How can we improve our knowledge? what basically what more do you want to learn from the market and that's what the first thing that made us humble and to be forever teachable you know? yeah yeah like we saw there's, yeah. there's a level to reach there's yeah. a very high level even up today yeah we're yet to reach it that I'm guy was to able become... to make eight thousand usd daily Day. I, I don't i don't make that kind of money daily no. me I'm a, I'm a progressive trader yeah right? we make money usually you know we money see. weekly yeah progressively right yeah. The long way, but it works. You see, works. but then ah, we saw okay, sharp. Since we can't do his style, since that style is not working for us, mm. because we're do, what we're doing was working. It was just working continue. for us. We're just gonna try to see if we can perfect it as much as we possibly yeah. can. So obviously, we saw what he did. We learned something from him. We saw okay, let's try okay, to for do account works. management that's number one. with our style. Yeah. End of November, that's when we met him. Yeah. So it gave us time to work on our skills the whole December. The whole December. The whole December we didn't go out. We didn't go to nothing. party. We we're always at home. Yeah. Every day, two a.m. We woke up. Yeah. We sleep around nine. We wake up again. December for us was no longer uh, the end of the year. It was the beginning of the year. Yeah. We were preparing for 2019. Yeah. Like yeah. we were preparing, bro. And we, then we were just we were hyped. Yeah. And then the when 2019 strong started uh that's when we started with account management at that yeah. time we didn't know it's illegal to trade for people if yeah. you don't have the fsca license and so you're yeah. not a financial advisor yeah basically. yeah 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 so, so we didn't know that yeah. it was illegal however we did it but then we just wanted to show people guys look, yeah look, look at our trade. skills you know you know it's it's okay many people have clout many people have exposure but look at the people who are focusing more on the trading skills basically. look at the people who are focusing more on actually mastering the, the forex trading side, side and basically. and that's what it, how fs good has always been yeah we've, we've always Book basically focused more yeah. on on on, on being our craft. transparent basically yeah. you know we try to be more on the business side than the lifestyle side you know yeah. so, so this yeah. is how it all happened now we started doing account management and then at that time we were killing yo it was somebody who was coming with 500 usd you would double, double it using it proper raw. risk management yeah we, we double in a week's uh manner or sometimes two weeks you yeah. know depending on your account size you yeah. know the bigger the account the bigger the profits basically yeah. so yeah. so already we already had the proof we already had the proof even when we would, would have bad days personally on our own account what kept us going is that, that forex trading is real is real we've right. seen it live we've seen lives. somebody do it in front of us Yo. a total stranger so you know because he was a stranger we basically idolized him as a level we want to reach yeah that's the first yeah. thing you need to do guys you need to be able you need to, to have a buy, level that yeah. you want to reach find someone you respect in the forex industry and try to reach their level yeah. try to do what they do like don't basically, stop until yeah. you get where you want to be yeah nothing else if you haven't reached destination then don't stop that's it you can't keep on pushing so we do account management guys in, in fact we're going to show you the proof uh yeah, we yeah. have yeah uh, at least we're glad that uh our journey was to different. record this yeah we're uh, able to document our whole journey because of youtube yeah, yeah like thankfully. youtube basically has our life from when we're basically from uh, where we started yeah to where we are currently where we, are currently. we had to record the whole our whole journey of which is why we think yeah. our course will be definitely different we i feel like it was a spiritual thing for me basically being able to record your journey is something many people don't do yeah and i feel like we so, got the, the liberty and you know the luck to yes it. so basically what we want to do to you guys is now that we want to give you guys a waking concept you know we want to give you guys a waking journey because this journey really did work for us yeah so, so as you see guys we're doing this course once we've reached success in the forest industry exactly. we don't want to basically start teaching 
whereas you're not where you want us to be. You understand? Exactly. We I believe know. if you want to follow us, it's because you're seeing what we're doing currently in yeah. terms of trading you analyze skills. analyze us, you, you see our skills, yeah. and yeah. You, you aspire to have them as well. Yeah, because we believe you guys, if possible, we know that students always outmaster their mentors. We Basically, get to a point where yeah. you guys even treat I always believe us. that, man. Yeah. yeah. So quickly, guys, we want to show you the proof of what we did with account management, and you guys can actually see and believe how basically mm. how the impact hard, yeah. and, and how and how, how much, much hard work we put in you, you into know? mastering yeah. our skills. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna come up real quick, you guys. Yeah. Uh, we hope you enjoy you it. Like it. Hope you like the video. And yeah, it's gonna come in through now. Yeah. See you after. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Fiso speaking here. And uh, I've been uh, working with Emmanuel for a week now. Uh, so he's been managing my my account for a week now. And I initially made a deposit of $600. And then um, what happened is that um, he managed to double the account in three days. Okay, he doubled the account in three days. And in the fourth day, we managed to go above the initial deposit, which was 600. As you can see, uh, the profit is $862. And this is a real account. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with uh, Emmanuel. He is, when he says he's the GOAT, he really means he's the GOAT. So, yes, I'm really impressed and I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I actually don't know what to say, but yeah, thank you, Emmanuel, for, for the great work that you've been doing. Hello, everyone. Um, it's Fiso here, and uh, I'm under account management with Emmanuel Mabitela. So this is this is week two. Um, remember the first week uh, I made a video showing you how much profit we made with an uh, initial deposit of $600. So this is week two, and look what the goat did. He killed it, doubled the account again. And this is just week two, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with, by, by what Emmanuel is capable of. So be on the lookout. Uh, Emmanuel is killing Forex. Emmanuel is doing his thing, yeah. Here are the profits. Here's the deposit. So, yeah. His work will speak for himself, man. Thank you. Oh, uh, hello, everyone. This is Pumla speaking. Uh, ish, guys. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know where to start. I just want to give a testimonial about uh, Emmanuel's work. He's doing a great job, guys. In a week, <laughs> I feel like a I'm a millionaire already. <laughs> Let me show you what he has done so that you can believe what I'm saying. You see the balance there? The money that I've deposited, it's $971, you see? And then you check the profit there, it's 958.59. And then... On one week, guys, he made this uh, in a week, actually. I feel like I'm a millionaire, really, guys. This is this is a great job. He is doing a great job. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. You have done a great job. I so wish everyone could say this. Um, hello, guys. Gift speaking here. Uh, I just want to send a testimonial about Emmanuel, the Forex coach. Uh, I started working with Emmanuel last Tuesday. If I can find, yeah, as you can see, I deposited 700 US dollars and trading from Tuesday to Friday, he managed to make a healthy profit of $464 which I believe had his been trading for the whole week he would have doubled the account but you can prove me right uh, this coming week as you can see his trades when he says he's 97 percent accurate i believe him and look at the lot sizes 0 0.03 0 0.03 
so i would encourage you to get in touch with the forex coach emmanuel mavizela and make some money while you learn how to trade thanks guys amanda emmanuel's account management and the guy has doubled my account within a week and i feel like a millionaire already so these are the results for one week and um, the initial deposit for this account was five hundred and five hundred dollars and the guy has done wonders to this account i'm so grateful emmanuel and the guy is really genuine and he know he really knows what he's doing uh hello guys um this is my account which emmanuel mabisela has been doing some account management on since on 7th january like that's four days ago so i deposited 210 US dollars of which after almost one week the account was almost going to be doubled you see i made a profit of 149 almost 150 US dollars yeah, that's almost the double the profit you see and i made a withdraw of 140 US dollars profit. Mm. See, Emmanuel Mabisela is, is Emmanuel is good when he, it comes to account management. He can manage it very well, so you can try it. Yeah, this is time. So yeah, so yeah, guys. So uh, you guys saw what level of skill we we had at the beginning of 2019. Yeah. You saw why we posted a video on YouTube where we said, guys, 2019 the goats are ready. We're the goats are gonna strong. take this year gonna... because we had the skill. Yeah, right. We you already... first learn, you remove the L, and then you start earning, and that's Basically. the whole process. Yeah, for everything Basically. in life. Yeah. yeah. So guys, you saw that we saw what we used to do for people before we announced that we're stopping with account management because it's illegal in South yeah. Africa. So, yeah. yeah. So we had to stop, obviously, and yeah. then now I believe also that gave us a better platform because yeah. I believe. Yeah. What's better is helping somebody to be able to make their profits on their own, yeah. whereas they don't have to depend on you. On us. Yeah, you because know. if you give a man a fish, in a way, you're, you're you basically... Are, you're killing him. Yeah, you're killing the guy. Yeah. Whereas tomorrow, if you teach him how to fish for himself, mm -hmm. he's going to be able to come back and give you more fishes, fishes as well. well. Because, and that's what we want to yeah. create. We want to yeah. create, create people to become market slayers as we do. Yeah, we, we want to create an FSG student, our representations, people who are going to be not even as skilled as us, who are going to be... Get to a point where they get to surpass where we where we limited where, where we are. Get yeah. to a point where they even get to reach higher heights and be better traders than us. Basically, there's no use to becoming a better trader if you can't pass on the knowledge to others. You know, yeah. uh, you can't yeah. leave a legacy if you don't create your mentees. You yeah. Know, you so here's, 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 here's the thing. Yeah. Personally, both of us. Let me just say, FS Good Mentors. Yeah. We believe that true success comes, comes from, from a from successor. Yeah. Right. If you don't have a successor, then you you haven't really done. You're much. not successful, man. We don't believe you've done anything. Whereas, whose life have you changed? What kind of impact have you had? It's always about the. Impact. Why were you given the gift to be able to break through where others couldn't? Where mm -hmm. you can even share to more people. You yeah. see, you you can't do that, man. You can't. You do know, that. I used to watch a lot of uh, movies long ago and then they will always repeat this line you know with great power comes great, great responsibility, responsibility you know and that is why we wanted to make sure that our course is going to be the best in the world yeah we, we are responsible make sure our students to... with the best traders yeah worldwide yeah so yeah that, that's basically our vision guys you know a lot of people they make courses in terms of you know they, they just want to make courses this we, is the vision we guys. also want to crack teaching yeah we, we don't just want to be able to just be good traders no we want to no. crack the barrier of making sure not only 50 percent not only 20 percent of students are going to be successful we want all hundred percent we want to want to be able to, to explain all and teach in such a way that everybody explains so now guys let, let me tell you how we got to actually have this mindset of having the ability to keep on trying regardless of what level of intelligence you might have yeah yeah so we had this okay this was the biggest inspiration we've ever had this yeah. was the teacher from haske kana uh -huh. and we had a our mathematics teacher. teacher yeah he was uh, called uh mr maroja mr. so uh -huh. this guy this is how we got to be motivated in grade yeah. 11 men tp failed mathematics yeah we didn't yeah. like we we're bad at men we're, we're not very smart. bad i wouldn't no. say we're smart yeah 
and obviously we're playing a bit we're not that much into you know being able to we see thought, is it possible yeah, we to, thought if you, want, if you know maths you must you know, already know maths you must be a genius you must be gifted yeah because we're not part of the top 10 whatever yeah so <laughs> this guy inspired us man this guy he told us exactly he yeah, showed man. us proof he came with it you know what his reports from school he was performing better. this was his best line you know if i can change you no, no one, one will. will because what he did he showed us you don't have to be smart to, to be good at something. You don't have to be. As long as you're going to be able to outwork anyone exactly. in anything, you're going to be better than yeah. all of them. You know, uh, hard work can be talent, you know, yeah. provided that you work hard enough consistently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what he did, man, he was he ended up being the best teacher for mathematics. Yeah, he, was cool. he was able to turn our class from people who failed to June, we already getting level fives. And when it came prelim, which is around September, we from, got from uh, level first once, place. Yeah. And we even killed that year. We came valedictorian from our school, which was first place. Yeah. And it was because of him. Right? Yeah. He showed us you don't have to be smart. There's there's basically what he showed us was that you know how to basically give on knowledge. Like yeah. you know, in order for you to pass on knowledge onto others, is that you don't need to focus on the smart people you know yeah. you need to focus on those people who catch on slow you know yeah because people who are not smart because no. this is the real key of learning something repetition yes. repetition That's what that is the key to learning anything even if you are better something no matter how many times you've been doing it gradually practice. eventually practice. you're going to be good at it practice like that's just practice. that's just how it is yeah so he showed us we we're basically going to school around 6 a.m mm -hmm. and we would leave around, around 5, 5. yeah so we're the ones who, who were the first came to first get to school and then the, the last to leave every day we always went to even on the weekend we always did examples Sundays. we did almost a thousand uh question papers for mathematics that's why we got to be able to pass it was yeah. not because we're smart no. but because of the amount of practice yeah. we've had you you would do so many examples that even in the exams they show you the examples you even you already know the point. answer like yeah yeah, yeah. so, so it's like we would never leave class until the worst student Didn't get to basically solve the equation yeah never yeah you, never. if you guys want to leave you blame on the, the that one yeah see that person yeah that, that's the person you should blame oh, well. so yeah. we saw we saw man you know this thing knowledge works. can be passed on yeah man, you know no it, matter how yeah. hard anything can be no matter how difficult you think it is how yeah. matter how impossible you think always it's be to reach always it. tell yourself this line you know if a person did it you also can do it yeah, yeah. and yeah. then we are living proof yeah man you have the advantage of having us here yeah. and we are willing to give you guys everything, everything. we're going to be sharing we're everything, everything with share you guys everything we're going to share our podcast. exact journey to see where you are in a journey how far are you and how, how just how, what what's needed in yeah. order for you to to basically become what we've became yeah and not just uh, our journey guys even you see the letters now we make sure that we explain as deep as we do on youtube if not deeper you know yeah we, we're trying to make sure that we have a high student success rate yes. we want to make sure we even going to an extent that we that even offer money, money back, back if it doesn't work you understand you. like we, we give you money back your money back. like Guarantee. if we give you our steps and you still fail at the I guess first it is not for you like, like, if, like if, if we can help you then i don't think anybody ever could yeah the problem is know. yourself we, we we are too too much into making sure that we, we impact change yeah. we impact change we, we try as much as we can to do the impossible let me give you guys the last uh motivation that we got to actually yeah. be able to even create this course at this current time uh -huh. and why we actually had to go back see what our vision was and yeah. get to be able to give you a a and guys uh, you know i'm glad that we had our first students man you know having our first students showed us that we are just good mentors you know yeah. but we are aspiring to become great mentors we are know? great readers yes but you also want to be great mentors yes. it's an industry that we're also trying to crack as, as well. well to make sure our students are obviously the best students that we have yeah so when we went home guys it was uh when last year 2019 yeah. december and uh, we, we had a group, some of, a group our friends. of friends that's that when, when they started knowing we were also killing uh -huh. uh, the they way knew that we were still... trading forex it was like yeah you know, so yeah. there was like eight guys eight guys we told them everything we shared everything our journey we everything, shared our knowledge everything that we think is necessary in order to help you so basically we give them belief we give them knowledge and they were ready for the markets yeah you know? yeah so we went away so now when we went back home in june that's when mm -hmm. we went back home uh, uh six months passed you know six to months passed. our surprise the only people who like, were basically still trying were were the twins the twins there were still those there were some two twins guys that we have from how we come oh, from i was so surprised man we even asked them like oh, guys oh, like 
everybody stopped. Everyone gave Why up. Why did you continue? Why did you guys? Why are you still down? going? And 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 they're now at a level where they even reached consistency. Yeah. We were so you surprised. Know, like our like, dream has came true. Like I'm so surprised that you go. guys went in with belief. You tried. You failed. But you still continue. Continue. That's that's the so thing. So we asked them guys, why did you continue? What made you guys to basically uh, continue trading, seeing that it's not basically working out for you? Yeah. You know? So th- that's what they said. They said you guys did it. You guys are basically growing to the same gene as us. Yeah. And that's how we saw everything. Yeah. So these guys are basically able to continue just because they see what it takes that's when it in order to, to reach a level. Yeah. That's even when they lose, even when they had a great week and the following week they will lose, mm-hmm. what would keep them going is because they believe and exactly. they see you guys, you know. Because oh. if you try and you fail, what keeps you going? That's the question you need to ask yourself. What keeps you going is knowing that the skill, once you achieve this skill, once you have this skill, no one can ever take it away from you. Yeah. Hence our that's first it. question. Our first yeah. question was what? Do you believe in forex forex trading? Our second question was what? Do you think think forex forex trading trading works? works. As soon as you get those answers right, your first doors are open. Yeah. No matter what you go through, as long as you know what is the level you're supposed to reach, you will never stop until you get it. Yeah, so yeah, guys, this is our message to all our aspiring students and yeah. everyone out there guys yeah hopefully you enjoy this course guys uh fs go 2.0 is a life changer we really believe we're going to change your life as yeah. well this is life changing awesome course, journey for you guys yeah and stay tuned man see you on the other side fs goat signing out hi there everyone this is fs goat your mentor and welcome guys to the meta trader 4 trial and guidance lesson so here guys we're going to be teaching you how to actually use metatrader 4 and how to actually um understand how everything works around so guys as you can see right now we are here so this is a phase whereby if you have a balance it's going to show there by the balance show you the equity show you the margin show you the free margin and show you the margin level and like you can see down here we have what we call codes codes it's your pairs um gbp usd euro usd and all of that but right now it's the first time we have this account so there's nothing that's really showing we're still gonna get to that point right now so as you can see here the only thing i have is um gbp usd as i click on charts it automatically goes to um euro usd charts and it's like, as you can see, I already analyzed and made sure that everything is proper. But we have to remove all of that in order to make sure that we have clean charts so that everybody could understand. And then here, when you have trades running, it's going to show over here. And then we have history. And then on history, we have daily, we have weekly, we have month, and then we have custom. On custom, that's where you can set any date and then it's going to possibly show you when last did you trade and all of that. And then we have settings on your settings. This is where it shows the real account, then everything that you're going to possibly need. But the only thing probably here you would need is for reference that it's a real account. And then that's it. So let's go back to codes. As we go back to codes. So here, here's the trick. As you can see here at the top, there is a plus sign whereby you actually can click on it to add on any type of pay or either index that you want to add or or any um shares or whatever for now let's add um major pairs so i'm just going to click on the plus as we can see as i clicked on the plus um there's major market there's forex market there's um, press markets, there's energy markets, there's exotic markets, DMA equity indices, market indices, COM2 indices, COM market, cyber current market, and cash indices. So currently right now, what we're trying to add, we're trying to add um, major markets. So we click on major market, you're going to see we only have major pairs. Remember that major pairs are anything re- um, reflecting to USD. So... We're going to click the plus, plus. The more you click on these plus, it automatically adds them on the codes where we actually are setting everything. So we've already uh, um, added our major market. So we're going to click done. And then after then, you're going to see now, we now have them on our codes. You can see it's GBP USD, USD JPY, USD Swiss Franc, USD CAD, Euro USD, and Audi USD. But are we done yet? No. 
do we still have what what we call minor pairs though here they're not named in the same in the same way but we have major and minor so major is anything reflective to us dollar um, it can be GPUSD, USD, JPY, everything that is relative to USD. And then we're going to click the plus sign again. Click the plus sign. And then now we go to Forex market. As we add to Forex market, you can see everything is now here. Audi CAD, Audi Swiss Franc, Audi JPY, Audi NZD, CAD, CHF, JPY, and any other um, rest of the top um, 25 uh, Forex market pairs. We just got to click the plus sign to make sure we add everything. Remember, the plus sign is to add any pair that you think you're suitable of trading. So at FX Code, we teach you on how to trade everything. So I'm sorry about that. So we're just going to click the plus sign. Um, actually, plus, 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 plus. Um, we ain't going to add USD um, HKD. The reason is it's... US dollar against Hong Kong. So we don't actually trade such kind of pairs. But if you do trade it, you can actually add it on top. And then we click on done. So the more we add them, you can see now everything starts to be in pure um, visible in uh, pair that they in the code um, symbol. So we want to make sure we add in everything in order to make sure that we don't um, struggle when we are about to trade anything that we want to trade like nasdaq us 30 and all of that so we're just going to go to add again and then check um what's left on the press market we want to we want to trade gold so as you can see there's xag usd which is silver there's xau usd which is gold so we only want gold we're going to add gold and then press done as we add gold as you can see there is gold down there it's now available we're going to click again um, the plus sign energy market energy market there's nothing we want to trade exotic market um, the only thing we would want to trade on an exotic market is actually usd czar which is um, usd against south african rand and then we're going to click add click done as now it's added the more you click the more they get added on the codes pair side and then um dma okay there's nothing we want to trade here indices um there's nothing we want to trade here but the only thing we want to trade is us 100 which is what nasdaq so we're just going to click on plus there by nasdaq and then add done so you can see now we have us 100 now we're going to go again to in the indices um, market 2 and click on it and check there's nothing we want to trade here so we just gonna there are people who prefer trading g30 and all of that but fx gold we prefer not to trade such but if you feel comfortable you can and then we're just gonna click here again as you can see coca g30 we're just gonna edit um see you and now we have again us 30 then we're gonna add us 30 and then um you can see now um after adding us 30 cryptocurrencies now there's none cash indices there's none and then we go back now we have added everything that we possibly want to add so um we just gonna stick to it we just gonna stick to it so as we added everything um what we're doing what now we need to do you can see that at the top there's simple and then there's advanced simple is uh, we prefer them being simple for the visibility of the market but in order to if you want to see the spreads the current people trading you click on advanced the minute you click on advanced it shows you the spread you can see now the spread is on gbp usd three this means there's a lower voltage of people trading that pair but you can see here on audi and on audi um um on audi nzd that there's a lot of people trading there so it's 10 9 as you can see there as you go on here on euro nzd is 16 so you can just see even on nasdaq right now is 65 so it's a high spread because people are actually trading this currency pay i mean this index so um for now let's keep it simple for purposes of practical on how to use metatrader 4. so you're gonna say simple and then from here if you wanna either trade on that or either see the charts you want to tap on the currency pay or either the index that you want to do for now let's use just gbp usd i'm going to tap on gbp usd you can see now what appears it's trades charts and details if i say trade it's going to take me straight to either buying or selling then you can choose here whether to increase your lot size whatever you want 10 and whatever you're going to choose and then you can either buy or either sell 
or if you are lazy you can just um click on the pl on the plus zero then you can see there it adds one or click there it adds tens it's up to you uh, what you finna use and all of that but for now we're not placing it's just a trial it's just a practical run and then we go back then we go back to 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 the codes again if you click on the codes again and go to charts it automatically takes you to your to gbp usd charts and then go back to codes again uh, if you want to see the details you can just click t details is going to tell you spread floating digits five stop loss level zero and but this is not actually important it's as much not really important at all because the only thing you need to do is trade and see the charts so right now let's dwell into the charts side so we're just going to choose the second one which is usd jpy we're going to click to usd jpy and say charts and then you're going to see the chart on a daily chart right there of USDJPY, right? And then we have a button here, here at the top, which makes you be able to see the prices here on the side and the dates there at the bottom. This is used to be able to indicate to exact numbers that you're probably going to use for either using your stop loss or whatever, only if you're using your MetaTrader 4. And then we have... Um, an f that looks something that looks like an f here at the top this is for indicators but we don't use any of these so nobody will ever touch that and then we have um an icon there at the top written um not actually written but with the symbol of a triangle square and a circle if you click on it you're gonna see objects that you possibly gonna use things like um square um zone this will be used for zones and then um, this will be used for trend lines and then um, this will be used for direction um, directional points and then um, this will be used for probably seeing your resistance exact points and then um, we will not actually use this straight one and then there's Fibonacci's and all of that as you can see so we don't actually use those so for now let's keep it clean all right so that's those is for objects and then as you can see there's the d1 there at the top the d1 this is a point whereby if you click you can see every time frame you possibly want to use there's monthly there's mn standing for monthly there's w1 standing for weekly and then there's d1 standing for daily h4 for four hour h1 for one hour uh, m30 for 30 minutes m15 for 15 minutes m5 for five minutes and m1 for one minute so these are actually the important things that you need to know about all of this thing so let's analyze using whatever we just showed you guys right now so right now we are on a daily chart if you tweak your phone on a horizontal um type of um, view you're gonna see if you click um the time frames are shown on your left and then everything is shown on your right so if ever maybe you prefer um a line chart there's a line here you can see if you click on it it actually shows a line chart and then there's candlesticks so if you need to just switch up you can actually use any of those and then um that's it for now that you can possibly use and then now let's analyze so i'm going to click on the square circle and triangle icon to make sure i get everything so for now we want trends so if you can see now there's a trend we're just going to draw a trend remember guys this is just for practice purposes and then um for the zone we're going to click on the square that we have it's going to be able to make us spot our our zone so let's just put it right here because this is a sensitive area currently and then um from here we see that okay we've identified everything let's use a four hour time frame so use the four hour time frame zoom it out we can possibly see that from here we're having a trend line at the top at the top right there and then we can possibly have a trend line again here at the bottom and then we can actually um use this again as a factor to highlight the sensitive area that is here as you can see prices have been turning a lot every time they get to this point and then what's the direction that we assuming the direction that we assuming is actually a buying opportunity of which you're going to use an arrow point line and then point it to the upside so as we point it to the upside as you can see now it's more visible go to the daily chart now we have our analysis of buying um type of situations and for just reference moves let me just go to a four hour and just use a fibonacci um and use a fibonacci 
just gonna click here check the fibonacci and then since we're going up we start from the bottom to the actual previous high so the previous high is here so now we can see the 50 level um, there we go this use this arrow thing and then we can see that this level is very sensitive and 61 these were the actual sensitive areas of which the market isn't playing around at and then from that point that's where you can come back again with your phone and actually click at the top right corner for your um to actually place your trade so you can see trade then you can actually decrease your lot size 0 0.01 but we choose 0 0.010 then you can actually sell or buy which is up all to you so you just tap on it and in the minute you tap on it it should brings you here then you tap on the lot size that you want to put can either be 0 0.5 0 0.1 it's all up to you then you sell or buy on the trade but right now we're buying so as you can buy now it won't buy because guys there's no capital in this market it's just a demonstration account and then yeah that's purely it on everything that you would possibly need about the meta trader for um how to set your take profits and all of that as you come onto trades you're gonna see there's a stop loss you come here set your stop loss on this price that you've set and set your take profit to a price that you have set for yourself and then you just buy or sell it automatically shows it and then if you want to add an account you come um um here on settings then click on new account as you click on new account you either choose if you want to create a demo or an existing account then you can say demo if you go to a demo it's going to show you the broker that you choose or either um um log into an existing account which is a real account you just click and you can choose any real account that you finna use and then it's simple as that so it's not really difficult in the meta trader for side and as you know if i say i want to create an account let me just say with btft it's going to ask for login details i put my login details and the password that the broker has emailed me it's simple as that and then if you sign in then everything is on top is point now and then um beyond that uh what am i leaving behind that's all and then if you want to check your take profits you come here on history it's going to show everything and then your trades running let's just go to one of my accounts that i'm actually trading as you can see i already have everything here i'm just going to go here as you can see i'm currently into losses and all of that as you can see i have my take profits and everything and i have my trades running and all of that so it's just a matter of fact of how you perceive using this so beyond that as you can see this the capital having here to take profit in a while so nonetheless guys i hope that will help you to understand how meta trader for um actually simple nonetheless this is fs gojo mentor signing out hi there everyone this is fs gojo mentor without any further waste of time guys let's get down to it mentorship find a mentor in everything you attempt to do before you set out to do it you might be saying to yourself why would a mentor be willing to help me after all i might end up being his competition in the future honestly speaking if your mentor is worried about you outdoing him or her you need to find another mentor truly successful people do not fear competition they know that their greatest competition is not outside the walls of their business but rather inside being a mentor myself i'm very qualified to answer that question with the following answers greatness lies not in trying to be somebody but rather trying to help somebody a mentor can potentially turn every person who comes along in their industry into becoming a future mentor we can all learn something from one another mentors are kind to everyone because they understand how hard life's battles are they understand that everyone is fighting the same difficult battles mentors know that what they have done for themselves alone dies with them but what they have done and continue to do for others in this world and how they help these people in their struggles as they fight the battles in this world remains and becomes immortal. Finally, successful people don't make a living by what they get, but they make a life by what they give. Success in life is not a fantasy. It is a formula. Successful people who can become your mentor have discovered a formula that works in their area of expertise. Their daily focus is to be disciplined to that formula. Mentors have learned how to think accurately from their past experiences of trial and failure. They are very clear on how they separate facts from mere information. They have learned which facts are important and which facts are unimportant for their continued success. 
Mentors have already made the mistakes and are skilled in not repeating them. They are a brain you can pick, an ear you can bend, and a person who can push you in the right direction. The greatest reward in choosing a mentor is the fact that you get to learn from their mistakes rather than making them yourself. If you were to ask a true mentor, what is the first step in learning and finding the fastest, most productive way of doing something and the truth of how things work? I expect they would answer by saying, the first step is to talk less, listen more, and stay humble. If you were to ask them about the second step, they would say, talk less, listen more, and stay humble. Chances are they would even respond the same about the third step. Good mentors know what works and what doesn't. Furthermore, they don't think they know everything, so they humble themselves in order to learn from others. A true mentor will not allow you to dig holes with a shovel. Instead, they will introduce you to a big hole. You will make a big mistake in your financial life if you start something new and refuse to find a mentor. Excitement and logic may get you from point A to point B, but a mentor will take you where you need to go. Think for a second. Think of the most successful people you know. Do they have two arms and two legs? Do they have two eyes and a mouth? Do they need to eat when they get hungry and sleep when they get tired? Just like you do? Of course they do. Then what is the difference between yourself and them? The difference is their skills, their knowledge, their discipline, and their talent of repetitive patterns of thought, feeling, action, and less repetitive of mistakes. Trust me, you'll achieve success much faster if you find a mentor and make an effort to learn from them. Not finding a mentor can dramatically hold you back from achieving what you want out of life. Who is your mentor? Are we your mentors? Because this is a mentor. A mentor is a person you look up to. They are a person you respect. They are a person you want to be like. They are a person that is an expert in an area you want to sharpen your skills in. If you want to be a better father, you need to go find another father that you admire. Do these three things. Get to know them. Study them and do exactly what they do. Do the same thing if you want to be a good spouse, a good friend and even a good trader. Trust me, that's the exact attitude you need to have as an aspiring trader. Finding a mentor in your life is like acquiring a map to a gold mine. Rather than going up to the mountains and kicking over rocks, wasting time for who knows for how long, look for a mentor that leads you to your breakthrough. It's like buying a map that specifically shows you where to begin, what road to take, and where is your final destination that you need to arrive at. This is the power of a Forex mentor. Hi there, welcome to FX Goat Forex Trading Academy. What makes our academy different is that we apply the same methods as universities and institutions that have proven to work even outside the Forex industry. We use these practices to ensure that our students are able to properly apply our teachings and we conduct regular student reviews by issuing homeworks, requests, assignments and projects. This is why our students have a very high success rate. If you remember, we also had to work very hard, study daily and practice regularly to reach our current trading level. The mindset of a winning trader is that of a hard-working trader. Just like any other skill, trading requires consistent practice and mastery, which is why we are making sure our students have homeworks and objectives to ensure they learn how to master the skill of trading. We can train you to be able to consistently profit from the market. As FS Gold, firstly, we are professional traders. Secondly, we've also mastered the skill of learning how to teach our students and know how to trade profitably. We had the privilege of helping many people for free on YouTube, which helped a lot in order to achieve a level whereby we can explain in such a way that even a two-year-old can understand. This is all to ensure that we've not only mastered the skill of trading, but also the ability to pass it on to another. In this operation, we've identified what works and what doesn't. We are going to use the FS Gold four-step approach. It will be properly explained further in the video. So, why did we go through all the trouble of learning how to teach? This is because we have many good traders who can trade. 
However, it becomes difficult when they have to pass the knowledge on to others, as they simply don't know how to do so effectively. So, through thorough research and multiple tests of learning approaches, we were able to create a method that will ensure you reach success in the forex industry, the FX Code 4 step approach. Great news! You are now enrolled in the updated version of the FX Code course. It has been professionally designed and structured to help you become part of the 10% of successful traders worldwide. We made the restructuring and the upgraded version of the course to set ourselves apart from any other forex institution out there. To become a great trader, you have to also know the challenges that we face as mentors and make sure you are not forming part of them. Challenges for mentors and educators in the forex industry is a trader with a negative mindset. If you have a negative mindset, our academy won't work for you. These are the characteristics of negative mindset students. Lazy students who believe that there is a holy grail secret. These students have a get rich quick mindset and it will lead to their ultimate downfall when they trade the forex market. Number two, students who think the skill of trading can be bought. These are the students who want to skip steps simply because they purchased a certain course. Number three, students with lack of respect, self-discipline, self-control, and self-motivation. These students have little respect for opinions of parents and teachers. They have no sense of responsibility and they do not show any efforts towards their learning. Don't bother continuing with our academy if you're not going to follow all our rules and instructions. This is not an environment for negative mindset traders. The problem with traders who struggle to reach success is that they are always looking for an easy way out, which is not possible when you want to master a high income skill. A skill is not a trick, but a set of rules and discipline that you improve with experience. Even if you pay $1 million to Ronaldo or Messi to teach you their expert level soccer skills, just because you paid, it doesn't mean you learn overnight. It is overall a process. You have to work hard, be dedicated, practice over and over as we mentor you on the right path. That is literally the only way for you to make it in the forex industry. The only way for you to make money with forex is that you have to know how to trade. So we are going to help you learn how to read the charts, be able to upgrade your skills continuously and eventually master the skill so that you know how to trade. So in order for you to make it in Forex, you have to believe and trust in our capabilities to help you improve your trading and become a trader that can trade as good as we do, if not better. That is our end goal. We all know that students always outmaster their mentors. So as an FS Go student, it is your responsibility to work very hard to maintain our high student success rate. Now, to better improve our new system, we needed to get inside the minds of our students to know exactly what they're struggling with and for us to take seriously what they need to improve on. Any innovation in our course would have been useless if we didn't tackle specifically what our students are struggling on. So trust that you are in good hands. Moving on, lesson one. We are going to use the FX Code 4 step approach. Our students' approach will have four steps. This is all to ensure that you retain the information you've learned. So you're going to go through each lesson three times by following our four steps. This is compulsory and a requirement to ensure that you find success in the Forex market. Step one, this is when you're watching a lesson for the first time. You're not going to take any notes. Instead, you'll watch the lesson first to familiarize yourself with our content. Step two, this is when you watch the lesson again. However, this time around, you're going to take notes. You will see that the notes that you'll take will be from a much better understanding. Step 3. This is very important and the most crucial step. You will reflect on the notes that you took to see if you can understand them. This will help you lead to the last step. Step 4. Summarize your notes and put them in your own words for a much deeper understanding. We need to see that you can actually understand our content. This method has proven to work effectively. Just like when you're reading a book for the first time, you'll most likely forget its content. Same thing applies when you're watching our lessons. However, when you go through our lessons over and over again, this will lead you to retaining all the information and eventually lead to a breakthrough. So always make sure to apply the FX Code four-step approach to each lesson in our course. Hi there, everyone. This is FX Goat, your mentor. Welcome to another video, guys, where we're going to be teaching you 
about the beginners approach this is where we will be teaching you about our seven principles towards changing so without any further waste of time let's jump to the first one but before proceeding guys I believe it's most important to note these things down use the growth approach number one you need to note down number two you need to apply and then number three you need to initiate this towards your trading success so let's jump into the seven principles of beginners approach number one teachability teachability is one of the most important aspects especially if you want to succeed in forex trading reason is your willingness to change needs to be more than your willingness to learn everyone can learn at any point at any time but at the end the last question always lies where are you willing to change the most important thing that you must know is this experience is the best teacher knowledge without experience it's dead number two your surrounding you must surround yourself with people who have the same drive as you are the people who are goal driven who are supportive and actually hard working for an example i will use fx go team as part of this to make a clear explanation we started forex trading back in 2017 but however coming together was the start but working together we achieved more so these guys helped us a lot to grow together and actually achieve a lot together because we were goal driven had the same drive we support each other and we work together but don't worry as our student we have built a community of traders of fans where guys you're gonna feel like you're family but basically you are part of us right now so this is gonna help you a lot guys to actually surround yourself with people who are gonna be sharing ideas sharing knowledge and actually sharing experience this means that you don't need to go anywhere seeking knowledge experience and tips number three accountability now guys this is where the most important thing especially when it comes to your trading success is applied accountability a lot of people can trade but the question is are you willing to become accountable for any outcomes you get from the starting of your journey to make an example number one when you start facing losses are you gonna be accountable of them to say I was wrong number two are you gonna be accountable of your goals your targets and actually the mistakes you do every time in your trading success what you need to know is that guys note every mistake every goal and every challenge you face every time this is gonna be able to help you elevate as time goes by to add on that Accountability is mostly important, guys, because it makes you to focus more on the process and less on the outcomes. If you learn to fall in love with the process, you're going to most definitely get the greater results. Number four, growth habits process. Now, guys, I need you to focus more on this one because this is where a good trader is built a professional even you need to have routines you need to have discipline and lastly you need to have time management this is whereby cutting a lot of things you previously did such as partying such as playing video games such as going out quite a lot needs to be limited because the journey you're taking or you're embarking on right now it's one of the journeys that's gonna definitely put you in your financial success now routines you need to adjust to new rules especially when it comes to your life rules you need now to start being focused when you're a student know the time of school and also the time for trading when you are a professional or you have a job know the time for your work and know the time for your trading for an example normally it's from 7 a.m up to 4 p.m especially for school learners 
But just know that when it's time for school, it's time for school. When it's time for trading, then it's time for trading. When you're a professional or you have a job, normally it starts from right about 9 a.m. to approximately 4 p.m. Know there's time for working the same way there's time for trading. One of the things we as FX Code never encourage is dropouts and leaving work. We understand that in your forex success, you need financial freedom also. You're going to need to fund accounts. You're going to need to keep on learning in as much as guys you facing a lot of challenges. Number five, process before outcomes. Now, guys, this is one of the most important principle on these seven principles. A lot of people tend to focus on when am I going to buy a car? When am I going to have a house? When am I going to get my first withdrawal? Which, guys, these are the last things to actually focus on, especially when you're only a beginner trader. When we started Forex trading, we were all about how can I master my craft? which helped us a lot in order to understand and differentiate between the process and the outcomes. One of the most things that actually helped us is this. If you focus more on the process, you learn a lot. But if you focus more on outcomes, then you get disturbed. Look at how actually things work out when you focus on the process than when you focus on the outcomes. So we encourage you guys to actually stick with the process, enjoy your learning curve, and actually excel on it. Enjoy it. Feel it in the blood. Wake up on it. Sleep on it. Actually practice on it. When people go out partying, stick around with your PC. Look at those charts. Laugh with them. Treat them as your brother, mother, or anything like that. Number six, persistence. So for now, guys, pause this video and ask yourself, why did you start trading? What you need to be alert of, be honest with yourself. Now, did you get the answer? Why did you start trading? Or maybe, do you have an idea of why did you start trading? So this is where, guys, we need to fix your mindset. Persistence is key. You will reach a point whereby you feel like giving up. But giving up needs to be the last option out of all the things. The last principle, put God first. Guys, we know we are not all Christian, but however... We can plan and execute plans, but God paves the way. Ethics got your mentor signing out. Ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all and I welcome you to an updated version of FS Code's currency pay course. Without wasting any further time, let's just begin with the introduction to Forex. Basically, uh, you know that in any subject matter, before you start uh, digging deep into a topic, you just have to explain what does it mean and get to actually introduce it in a better way for everyone to actually get to hear what is it that you were talking about at that time and moment. In a layman's terms, forex trading or foreign exchange trading is the exchange of one country's currency for that of another, which happens simultaneously at the same time. So the foreign exchange market is the largest and the most liquid financial market in the whole world. It has an average trading volume that exceeds 5 trillion United States dollars, which circulates around the market each and every day. Most of the financial markets operate at a centralized location. However, this is different when it comes to Forex uh, because it has no central marketplace. Let me repeat that again so that you get to understand it in a better way. Most of the financial markets operate at a centralized location. However, this is different when it comes to the forex market since it has no central marketplace. So that is very important because like most of the markets, they are being controlled by different, what? Different factors. However, in forex, you can trade it at any time 
anywhere where you wish to trade it so moving right along to bullet number four the forex market is a global electronic network which includes five of the major parties namely the brokers the individual forex traders the banks and the financial institutions so these major parties are all involved in the process of buying and selling of currencies. A Lego or a juristic person is given an opportunity to capitalize in the forex market globally for 24 hours a day. However, this is only available for five days a week and in any location around the world. Any person, whether you are a company or you are just a Lego person, you are being given an opportunity to just like trade the forex market in any place across the world for 24 hours each and every day. But this is only available for only five days of a week, excluding your Sundays and Saturdays. However, there is something that's called VIX that can be traded also on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm still on the introduction. The second slide that I want us to focus on is why should you start trading Forex? I believe like this is the main important question that comes to most of the beginner Forex traders before they could even start. And someone else who's not even convinced about what Forex is, a small startup capital. You don't need large amounts of money to start trading forex a simple hundred dollar account can change your life if traded properly if you use proper risk management if you have the skill of now to trade you can turn that into a fortune so second thing it's high profitability the thing is regardless of how much you invest in forex uh, you don't have limits as to how much you can make you can turn a ten thousand account into a million uh, dollar account flexible trading hours flexible trading hours they actually mean that uh, you can trade at any time and, and moment if you are working uh, from 9 to 5 you can still trade at 6 p.m so the other point is that like everyone can start regardless of their knowledge and experience i always say that like everyone can start trading forex and get to learn the skill by actually practicing more starting will actually help you to improve your skill each and every day so everyone can trade forex you just have to have the age that is required for you to start which is 18 years across the whole world so the other point is that no nine to five uh, most of the people they end up like quitting their job after they've seen how profitable forex is and how it has changed their lives you get to see that like you get to make more money there's no need for you to even work that nine to five because you can make your money anywhere across the world so no suits and ties you are your own boss so there is no one who's gonna bother you tell you that you must do this and that it just gives you freedom to do whatever that you want to do at any time when you want to do it those were the reasons why you should start trading forex so now let's move along to another slide and get to see what is it that it has for us the next slide that we are now focusing on is the difference between forex market participants and the forex market influencers there's a huge difference between the two and it's very much important as a beginner to know what are forex participants and what are forex influencers when we are talking about the forex participants we're talking about central banks we're talking about individual traders we're talking about brokers we're talking about companies so you remember last time i talked about a juristic person and a legal person when i'm saying uh companies i'm talking about a juristic person when i'm saying individual traders i'm talking about a legal person so moving right along to what to the influencers the influencers are the interest rates they change you remember you will have like different news in your fundamentals that talk about the interest rates those are the influencers your trade laws when they change the trade laws those are the influencers your economic news and the natural or geopolitical news those are the influencers moving right along let me explain this it is very important that one knows their role in the forex market participants are mainly there to profit from the bullish or the bearish movements of the market however the influencers are the reasons why we have those bullish and those bearish movements in the market since they induce the market to move slowly or highly volatile at the time and moment so the other slide uh, talks about the market directions so it's very much important to know 
or which directions do we have in a market so let me just start by making an example then i'm gonna just like flow from the example and get to explain to you what is it that i mean by uh, the example that i made if you are a traveler you already know that there are four main directions of a compass which are called north east west and south however this is very different when it comes to the forex market since we only have two directions which can be referred to as west and south according to the compass example that we made but this is actually called the buys or the bulls so-called longs or it's the sells or the bears the so-called shots moving right along to the second part this simply means that forex market is then the easiest and the simplest thing that a person can master and be able to capitalize from the reason why it is the easiest and the simplest is because it only has two directions that you can only focus on when you are not buying you are selling in order for you to be profitable you must always follow the simple rule the rule is buying low and selling high let me repeat again in order for one to be profitable he or she must always follow a simple rule that rule is buying low and selling high the choice is then yours whether you want to go for buys or when you want to go for sells so the buys are called the bulls and the sells are called the bears the reason for that is because of its movement when a bear fights it suppresses and uses its legs uh, to fight against its competitor however when a bull fights it uses its horns and grabs the competitor to the top which then represent the buying so the next slide that i'm gonna be then focusing on right now is the major pairs major pairs are the four most heavily traded uh, currency pairs in the forex market they are namely the euro usd the usd jpy the gbp usd and the usd swiss franc but uh the euro usd is by far the most heavenly traded currency pair in the whole world and it is popular amongst speculators due to its large daily volume uh the major pairs are considered by many to drive the global forex market and are the most heavenly traded although it is widely regarded uh, that the major pairs consist of only four pairs some believe that the usd cad the audi usd and the nzd usd pairs should also be regarded as major pairs however these three pairs can be found in the group known as the commodity pairs now let's move right along to another slide why should one trade major pairs so a beginner is asking a question why should i as a beginner start trading major pairs so the reasons why you should start trading major pairs is as follows the first one the volume tends to attract more volume unlike in physics where they say uh, like charges repel and unlike charges attract here a uh, volume tends to attract more volume this is because with more volume spreads between the bid and the ask price tend to narrow which means that the majors tend to have smaller spreads than exotic pairs the major pairs have lots of volume they therefore tend to attract the most traders to them which keeps the volume high so let me move along to a second type of pairs these pairs are called the exotic pairs so the exotic pairs are usually consist of a major currency alongside a timely traded currency or an emerging market economy currency that's the definition so the examples they include united states dollar against the south african rand the usd mxn or the euro huf so those are the examples of what of the exotic pairs so a benefit uh, to trading exotic pairs is that they may offer higher potential returns due to a wide price of fluctuations however this means that they are riskier to trade exotic pairs make up a smaller share of the total forex market they are generally illiquid lacking market depth and featuring low trading volumes and wider spreads so those are the exotic pairs now let's move right along to another slide anyone trading exotic pairs should therefore be a seasoned and an eligible 
trader with some solid and positive market experience under their belt so let me move right along to another slide so this one it's where we give the tips these are the 10 tips that you should take under your wing before you can even start trading forex so these tips the first one is like learn how to trade the forex market it is very much important for you to learn how to trade that's the reason why you are even taking this course right now because you want to learn how to trade you don't want to step into the value of the hyenas and not even knowing what is it that is happening in that particular valley that you are in so moving right along the second one is have a trading plan and stick to it it's very much important that you must have a trading plan when you are a forex trader you must know what is it that you are doing at that time and moment you must not do something that you do not know practice every day so i can never stress this enough practice makes uh perfect that is what even my mathematics teacher was always telling me that i should practice mathematics each and every day so that i become the master of mathematics so number four is know when to stop it is very much important for one to know when to stop because when you do not stop you might even lose the rest of the capital that you have made at that time and moment so don't be a chat zombie a chat zombie is a person who's always sitting in front of their laptop always analyzing forex you must give yourself time to actually move out and come back again and get to see whether whatever that you said will happen will really happen the second one is like learn how to control your emotions so the person that does not know how to control their emotions they are always over trading they don't have a proper risk management they are always all over they're always like not knowing what is it that is expected from them whether this is a sell or whether this is a buy because they are just using their emotions and forex does not want you to use your emotions you must take your emotions aside when you are trading forex so have a trading partner we always emphasize that a person must have a trading partner when you are having a trading partner that means you're having a friend that you trade with that also gets to give you the reason why it's not a buy why is it a sell whereas you saw a buy and not a sell so those people they actually help you to actually grow as well as an individual that's a reason why fx code we also have the groups that we've created for all our students in order for them to come in and get to cooperate with other students that we have and build a family choose the right broker there are different brokers and brokers are going to be recommended on the course uh, in the pdf that you're going to attach below where you're going to be able to see which broker is right for you to use and the ones that we've been using for years that we also recommend for you and have a trading strategy luckily because you are here in this course you're going to be having a trading strategy that you're going to be using that will make you to be profitable as a forex trader as well the other one is be realistic it's never uh deposit a 1000 usd account and expect to make 10,000 usd in a day you must always be realistic with your goals it's important to know that your dreams are also realistic as well so the last one determine entry and exit points it's very much important that every time when you trade you do not trade without a stop loss and you do not trade without a take profit you get to know when do you want to exit and when do you want to enter in a particular trade so that is it uh those are the tips that i was giving you now let me move right along to another part different types of charts in forex we have three different major charts namely the bar charts the japanese candlesticks and the line chart so these are the examples of these charts that i'm talking about in a line chart you're only going to see just a line then you have a bar chart and the japanese candlestick you're going to be having a full lesson teaching you about the japanese candlesticks japanese candlesticks and the line chart are the two types of forex charts that we use we don't necessarily use the bar chart so we're going to be showing you on that demonstration on how we use the line chart and how we use the japanese candlesticks as well so this is where i'm going to be showing you uh in this part that says how to approach uh the analysis using the different forex charts a forex chart graphically depicts the historical behavior across varying time frames of the relative price movement between two currency pairs. a forex chart essentially allows a trader to view the past which according to the technical analysts can be a predictor 
of the future price movement we have what nzdusd so the only thing that i'm going to be teaching you here is like the different uh types of charts that we have in the forex market currently we have the so-called what we have the so-called japanese candlesticks these are japanese candlesticks they build and form a complete chart so let me just do an analysis on the japanese candlesticks and show you the reason why we also prefer to use the line graph apart from the japanese candlesticks so i'm gonna start by doing what i'm gonna start by going to the biggest time frame now i mean the bigger time frame which is a daily time frame from that i'm gonna be taking my technical tools to draw my analysis okay from a bigger time frame i'm gonna move to a smaller time frame of four hours now i'm in four hours and then from this i'm establishing what is called trends in trends highlighting that too highlighting it and highlighting it so then i have this i'm then gonna switch now and go to where and go to a line graph you see when i'm in the line graph i'm already seeing that all my analysis is no longer touching as it was before so not everything was being captured nicely it clearly shows exactly where the market turned so this is basically the reason why we switch between what candlesticks and what and a line graph so because like i can basically see that i can literally see this is my point and i've touched it and i've touched this one and i've touched this one i then do what i then move to a smaller time frame on a smaller time frame i then switch back to where japanese candlesticks Japanese candlesticks, they now show the accurate results because I was using a line graph. Here, I was supposed to take what? I was supposed to go for bulls because we're going to shoot to the upside. We're going to be going further up. I'm not analyzing. I'm, I was just showing you the importance of getting to use a line chart as well as Japanese candlesticks chart. So using those two will help you to bring or to have more accurate results from the market. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Thank you so much. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to yet another chapter of FX Gold. This one is still part of the introduction and it's going to be helping you to master all the basics. So the topic is the mastery of basics. So let's just get into it. This one is called the FX Gold Beginners Foundation. These are the basic lessons you need to know and have them hardwired into your head. By doing so, you are most likely to succeed in your Forex journey. So your success will depend on how serious you are willing to learn the Forex market. The key to the top earning professionals is daily practice. Professionals condition themselves to react the same way each and every time in various situations regardless of their emotions. Professionals make time to take the effort to practice the basics first because they know they have to take themselves out of the process mentally to a point whereby they don't think they just react. What may take you many years to learn? step by step lesson by lesson with fx code new learning approach it can be executed simply and flawlessly in just three to six months important forex basics a pip is an acronym for point in percentage the pip system monitors the price movements in the market pips are usually measured in decimals depending on the pair being traded Pips are usually the last number of the decimal in the price evaluation. A trader's financial reward is measured in pips and those pips are converted to dollars in any currency that you are using at that time and moment. Most traders in the forex market trade with what is called a leverage. Trading with a leverage means you are either borrowing or using someone else's money to trade. You do this by making a deposit with a broker who will let you use their money the minimum deposit with some brokers for trading with a leverage is one percent but this number can go up as high as four percent trading on the forex market is done in the currency lots there are three types of lots namely a micro lot a mini lot and a standard lot a micro lot is approximately 1000 worth of foreign currency 
a mini lot is approximately 10,000 worth of foreign currency. A standard lot is approximately 100,000 worth of forex currency. To trade with the forex market, a margin account must be established with a currency broker. This is an account into which profits will be deposited and from which losses will be deducted. These deposits and deductions are made instantly upon exiting a position. These three types of lots create different payouts per lot. A 100,000 unit is called a standard lot and pays approximately $10 a peep captured. A 10,000 unit is called a mini lot and pays approximately $1 per peep captured. A micro lot is 1,000 units and pays approximately $0.10 uh, per peep captured. Forex traders love the Forex market for its availability, liquidity, volatility, and the leverage it allows a trader to trade. So let me move along to another slide. This is called the approach to price action using the candlesticks. Candlesticks are used by most professional traders, the banks, the hedge funds. These guys trade millions of dollars every day. They can move the market wherever they want. They can take your money easily if you don't understand trading. Even if you can trade $100,000 account, you can't move the market. You can't control what is going on on the market, but using candlesticks patterns will help you understand what professional traders are doing and will show you when to enter, when to exit, and when to stay away from the market. There is then a question, what is a candlestick? Japanese candlesticks are formed using open, high, low, and close of the chosen time frame. Candlesticks are important to your trading analysis because it is considered as visual representative. It is considered as visual representation of what is going on in the market. By looking at the candlestick, you can get valuable information about the open, the high, the low, and the close of the price, which will give us an idea about the price movement. Candlesticks are flexible. They can be used alone or in combination with technical analysis tools such as the moving averages, the Fibonacci retracement, trend lines, etc. We personally use candlesticks with support and resistance as well as the trend lines. The human behavior in relation to money is always dominated by fear, greed, and hope. Candlesticks analysis will help us understand these changing psychological factors by showing us how buyers and sellers interact or interact with each other. Candlesticks provide more valuable information than the bar charts. Using them is a win-win situation because all the trading candlesticks have different body sizes. When it comes to trading, it is important to check out the bodies of the candlesticks and understand the psychology or the meaning behind it. So now I'm going to move to another topic. The topic is about leverage and risk management. So then the question is then what is a leverage? Which represents a margin trading ratio enables traders to borrow a certain amount of money that allows them to trade with a bigger deals. Moreover, leverage allows one to trade using more money than they have in their account. Therefore, you leverage your account's balance to place a bigger trade. Currency rates move very slowly. This makes small trades unfashionable as they only retain small profits and losses for every peep rate changes. Therefore, leveraging helps one to trade in a larger deals, hence amplifying their potential profits and losses. The tips and warnings when using the leverage. So these are the two tips and the main uh, what warnings that you must know when trading using what the leverage. So when using the leverage, you keep your losses within the imaginable limits. Professional traders should not risk all their money in one trade. A trader should diversify their risk by spreading it out to about 5% of their total deposit per trade. In the cases of any losses, there will not only be 
small but will be bearable and your account will be able to survive the losses. Use the stop loss. It lets your broker to know when to close if it hits a certain set price. These stops work around the clock. Use the stop loss. Let your broker know when to close if it hits a certain set price automatically. These stops work around the clock in the forex market. Therefore, protecting your position and when you are logged out of the system. Uh, always start slow at first. This helps in building the beginner's trader's experience and confidence in their early days of trading. Once you've learned uh, the ins and the outs of the forex market, you can then consider increasing your leverage. So let me now talk about the spread on this, what on this slide. So what is important to know is that there are always two price given in a currency pair, which is a bid price and the ask price. So what constitutes a spread? That's a question that I'm posing to you. A spread is constituted by the difference between the bid price and the ask price. To make it easier for everyone to understand, it is safe to say the bid, the bid price is the price which you sell the base currency and the ask price is the price of which you would use to buy the base currency. The base currency is shown on the left of the currency pair and the variable, the code or the counter currency on the right. The pairing tells you how much of the variable currency equals to a unit of the base currency. Most forex currency pairs are traded without commission, but the spread is one cost that applies to any trade that you place. Rather than changing a commission, all the leveraged trading providers will incorporate a spread into the cost of placing a trade as they factor in the higher ask price relative to the bid price. The size of the spread can be influenced by the different factors such as the currency pair you are trading and how volatile it is, the size of your trade and which provider you are using. The provider I'm referring to here is the broker of course. So in conclusion, now that you've mastered the basics of trading, it is time you apply the four step approach we have taught you on the introduction lesson and then continue with our course respectively. Thank you very much.